right now we're up on the seafoam islands i actually uh decided to capture a bunch of pokemon before doing this video so i was like just going through the first floor of the seafoam islands capturing slowpoke golbat jinx and all these different guys seal and dugong but uh so because even when i played the original pokemon red blue yellow i try to make a video going through the seafoam islands as fast as i could so people you know can understand how to get through there without well because there weren't really any pokemon trainers and there's just wild pokemon and you just got to figure out how to push the boulders where to push them and all, and all that but back then when i was recording it like my hardware messed up i think i was still using the hopog game capture way back then or something i, I don't know but uh i didn't get any of the sea any of the seafoam island footage at that time but i did replay red two times so i'm not sure if i ever redid it and i i did a little bit a little bit of yellow in there i don't know and then it, of course in the anime seafoam islands is like a like a resort area a resort set of islands and then that's also the episode where they got the shelter and the slow poke to make the slow bro and all that if anybody remembers that Of course, the original Pokemon Red and Blue didn't have any trainers in Seafoam Island, but Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee actually does have, well, they have Coach Trainer at least. And then that guy, so if you run out of Pokeballs, or get lower than 10 Pokeballs in your bag, then he'll just give you another 10 for free. He's, he's like in every cave in Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. But it'll help you learn the motion controls or the capturing controls or whatever. Avoided it. Melt all the snow and ice around us with my fire punch. Facade. <laughs> it's just a facade. Yes. Wait a minute, wasn't there a Pokemon episode with a Kaz and Oh maybe it's Yaz, not Yas. Kaz and Yaz Jim with the Scyther and the Electabuzz. So he had all three Eevee, Eevee Lucians. Jolteon, Flareon, and Vaporeon. I have uh, all the Eevee Lucians 
in my Pokemon Bank on the 3DS. Oh, I should probably check the Pokemon Bank because it might have expired recently. I need to, I need to pay for another year. I don't want all 800 or so of my Pokemon to disappear. Or I can just uh, put them on like two of my cartridges because you can't put all 800 on one cartridge. There's not enough space. Six hundred. All right, now let's continue through Seafoam Islands. Lures and repels. And since I just wanted to uh, go through the Seafoam Islands as fast as I can, I'll put on a Max Repel. Keep all the Pokemon at bay. And also in the first generation... Ooh, Max Revive. Also in the first generation, you had to use Strength like every single time you went on a new floor. It was pretty annoying. Get a little confused going up and down the floors. You could just drop down the holes if you want. But then you might get even more confused. <laughs> I don't know. Of course, right when the repels effect wears off, you get a gold bat. Gold batteries are bad. Peaks feels the tension in the air. That's because Articuno's around here, huh? But before we battle Articuno, pick up the rest of the items and... Uh... Well, actually, actually I don't know if we can battle Articuno yet. Yeah, because of fast current, see? So first we have to push the rest of the boulders, or the blocks, I guess they call them, and let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee, and uh, cut the stream off. The dangerous currents. So 
saw a Pikachu's tail wagon. Then this is kind of like a puzzle for the blocks, sort of. It really isn't that hard. You just push this one forward, and then push that one down. P push this one right here to the right. No, no, not. Ah. Uh. Of course. Like that, down, and then to the right. Totally ruined my puzzle. so I can actually finish the puzzle. And that should block the current to Articuno. fight Articuno before you can actually capture him, so make sure you actually have a decent Pokemon in the first slot. Another big pearl. Now, it's pretty easy to defeat the three legendary birds if you start off with Pikachu, but then again, there's all the other Pokemon you can capture. Alright, let's see. I'm trying this with motion control so you guys can see, although it's way easier to just do it in handheld mode, but then I can't capture gameplay. Perfect. With an Ultra Ball. And a Raspberry. But it breaks out anyways because it's freaking a legendary Pokemon. 
Or maybe I should use Silver Raspberry instead. Excellent again! I'm sorry, that, that, that's just BS. What kind of random number generator is this? I really do like the whole icicle stuff flying in the air though when he when he flexes and spreads his wings. God, how many balls is it gonna take? can't throw a, a pokeball to the right. It just motion controls just don't don't work like that. I have to like wait for it to come by. I can kind of throw it to the left, but not super well. And every once in a while I can get lucky and throw it to the right, but very rarely. And of course it just keeps breaking free. Master Ball. I wonder if I can get it with a Premier Ball. Oh, right on the edge of the ring. I thought I had it, dude. Of course. There's like a, a little bit of a lag from when I throw the Pokeball with the Joy-Con and then when the Pokeball appears on screen. Seems like it. See? Uh, I'm just gonna switch back. What's it gonna take, Articuno? What's it gonna take? I got like so many excellence with the Ultra Balls and the Raspberries. Oh, it takes no excellence and no Raspberries apparently. Sometimes this game ends, sometimes. Be surprised that I captured the legendary Articuno. What what is it called? Legendary bird? Well, it's not just a legendary bird, it's like a legendary ice bird or something. I don't, I don't know. Let's check its summary. Serious nature, somewhat vain, great stats. Although special attack isn't that great.
Mirror Coat, Ice Beam, Agility, Reflect. Any secret items? That was another thing in Fire Red and Leaf Green that I loved. Like after you captured some legendary Pokemon or be some gym leaders, you can like use the item finder directly where they were to get some rare items. It's awesome. It's like the secrets were perfect in that game, man. And I don't know. The Sevi Islands did seem a little bit too lengthy, but the just the game mechanics all in general just seemed pretty pretty decent. I don't know. Maybe they shouldn't have added the Sevi Islands, that's why they didn't add them in Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. But the game was still pretty pretty great. And I still plan to, uh, well, I don't know if I'm going to stream or just record and release episodes of Fire Red Leaf Green. Probably 2019, maybe. I have a lot of catching up to do in my YouTube channels and website and all that. But that's pretty much it for this video. And as you can see, I made it to the end of the Seafoam Islands. Uh, like this video, I guess, if it helped you out. <laughs> and subscribe to my channel for the next adventure, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. And also my website, hardcorehector.com, has a Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee strategy guide with a ton of awesome information. So check that out. See you guys later.